The land plays an important role, and this is a unique area. Wander around Athens, Ohio, and you can take your fill of rural land, nature. At a presentation last Monday, Marty Strange, who was policy director for rural schools and community trust, discussed rural life and problems faced by rural schools. One major problem, as pointed out by attendee Macy Kiefer Kennedy, is the high teacher turnover rate. But that's because I think that what rural education is missing has more to do with rural life than it has to do with good educational practice. And I think that this is because we regard rural largely as what's been left behind, as what's in the past, what isn't, doesn't have a future. You either have to be transformed into something else, or you have to just stagnate and die. That's the conventional wisdom, and I think that's what we teach our rural kids in too many ways. Strange says the distinguishing characteristic that gives meaning to rural life is that it consists of local societies, communities of people whose relationships with each other is shaped by, and in turn shapes, the land. In this regard, the land holds a power over individual identities, more so than in other areas. And the strength of these identities varies directly with the power of the land to shape the society. But although this identity is integral to the community, Strange says rural people can be intimidated because of this. Economically, they are more vulnerable, and every relationship has an economic context as well as a personal one. For schools, this means that relationships between teachers and students, between the school and the community, must be the cement of a successful education system. But it's still true, I think, that knowing who you're doing business with and whether they can be trusted also breeds a loyalty that can operate as a form of efficiency. We call it the economies of community. With many rural schools lacking the funding or the technology to match suburban districts, rural students are at a disadvantage in the new online-based Ohio Common Core curriculum. Strange says teachers in rural areas must adapt to their students' unique needs. It was about learning how to listen, learning how to be responsive, learning how to be respectful, learning how to realize that these people know more than you do about their situation. Stuff like that, it's really basic stuff. Evan Smith, WOUB.